Yo, check out what we got here. Look at this thing. This thing is a freaking legend. What's up with this, man? Do people just not want their dad sins? Right, come on. Alright y'all, we're back with another junkyard video. Y'all seem to like the last one, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pump these out for y'all. We're at a junkyard that I just recently came upon. So one of the local ones here in Fort Worth, and uh, it doesn't really seem like they rotate inventory much, but um, they do have a car that I found some time ago. Hopefully they still have it. Uh, the guy up front at the counter, he told me that um, they might have crushed it, so got my fingers crossed. It still had a lot of good stuff on it. Well, it was kind of in pieces, but it still had some salvageable parts on it, I'd say. Yeah, I went up to him. I, I was like, oh, uh, y'all got an orange Datsun out there that I found the other day. And he was like, Datsun? No, not anymore. I'm like, bro, what? There's no way. There's no way they crushed that car. Like, you, you got to be crazy to crush it. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and see. It, it was tucked away in a corner somewhere, so. Woo! Y'all, I see it. <laughs> Man, I think he just said that just to give me a heart attack. <laughs> Y'all, take a look at this thing, man. This thing is sick. I can't believe I believed him. <laughs> this dude gave me a mini heart attack. Come on, man. How could you crush this thing right here? Ah, there it goes. So I came here to make a TikTok, and I took this uh, front air dome off. I think someone else came here to come check it out as well. Yeah, the guy from last time, he told me that he would let it go for 50 bucks. So I'm gonna take this up to the counter and see what he says. I don't know if he gives me a better deal, I'm, I might take it home. It's kind of tattered in pieces. Like there's a lot of parts that I gotta fix up, but it's not too bad. Maybe I can find a way to repair it somehow, but yeah. Let's go ahead and check out this thing. This is a 280ZX, two plus two edition. So as you can see, it's got the, uh, well, it's got the area for the back seats. This right here, you can tell it's a two by two. The back end of it is kind of elongated. You can see the seat that's folded down. That's pretty cool. Oh my God, that guy just, dude just ripped into the front windshield to pick it up. Anyways, uh, you know what? Kind of looking into the car now, there's not really too much that can be salvaged. This is kind of look kind of cool. Minus the uh, sun fade. But yeah, I don't even know how long this car's been in here. It's just been exposed out here in the sun and in the rain. Man, check out this color though. This is like Fast and Furious super orange. Yeah, yeah, this this color is like very reminiscent of Paul Walker's 10 second Supra. What the hell is this? Man, this thing has been picked apart though. Look at this dash, all cracked up. I'm not quite sure if I can find any like noteworthy parts that I can take from this car since um mine's a different model. Probably only from the front end. Yeah, this thing's been picked apart. The really cool thing about this is that um it looks like this one had a lip kit on it. So looking at it from down here, as you can see, it's got some side skirts. That's pretty nice. For y'all Dotson owners, y'all know what this is from? What company produced these? I see them all the time online, but I just, I don't know the name of it. And I definitely would have taken it, except that uh, this piece right here is ripped off. I think someone broke it while they were taking off the fender. That would have been a nice piece to take, but just, I don't think that's salvageable. The one on the driver's side looks pretty nice though. Let's check it out. Yeah. Looks like it's in one piece for the most part. Yeah, check out these quad tips. Or they got dual tips on each side. That's pretty sick. Maybe I should cut them off and <laughs> add them to mine, huh? That'd look pretty fire. Get some flames shooting out of that. That'd be insane. So apparently people like to take this gas cap because um, since it's exposed, literally anyone could just come up here and untwist it off. So that's kind of a hot item. <laughs> I wonder who the previous owner was or what they were like. This is a pretty like, this build right here, it's pretty loud, I'd say. It had a whole lip kit on it. It's got this bright orange paint job on it. Definitely a head turner on the road. Check out this engine bay. Looks like someone ripped apart the top of it. Now it's just a burnt up rat's nest. That's real unfortunate. Oh man, you know what? You know what is salvageable though? It's front windshield. Ah, never mind. It's got a crack in it. Yeah, it's got a crack all along the passenger side. My windshield's cracked along the middle of it, so I gotta get to replacing mine soon. I already have one, but I just need to find time to replace it. And so it looks like this one right here had T-tops and someone already took it. I wanted to get in the hatch, but the um, cable on it is broken and it's locked. So I won't be climbing in there. <laughs> not today. It's just way too hot today. I'm not trying to climb into this hunk of a metal death trap. It's got a side mirror right here. Shh. Nice little chip. And they got this thing set right next to an Acura Legend. Oh, this thing's jammed up in there. 
Looks like it was in an accident. This right here is like all bent up. Uh, it's got some rust right here. I think this thing might have had a spoiler on it. I see it has holes for a uh, for some bolts. The tail lights are no good since this one's busted out. Yeah, I don't know. Since it's been baking out here for the sun for quite a while, I don't think anything. I don't think anything in here is worth. I think I'm just gonna hop inside for a bit. Oh man. Woo. You know, T-tops would actually be pretty nice to have. It's a nice sunny day when it's not too hot. Just oh. Anyways, I'll be taking that front air dam. I think that's kind of the only thing that's worth here. Let's go ahead and grab it. Now it shouldn't be bolted on to anything because I took it off last time. Yeah, I just gotta slide it up. But yeah, this thing's all like cracked up in the middle. Pretty worn out. But I don't know, maybe I can patch it up. <laughs> Drift stitch it or something. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get a good deal on this at least. And it's always sick finding these things here at yards because it's kind of like it's coming across a time capsule, you know? And it's been sitting here for so long that it's got leaves growing out of it. It's insane. Let's give this poor soul a nice little prayer. Shout out to the car gods. Oh my God, look how bendy this thing is. What the? F is this a KBD bumper? <laughs> That's insane. I think it's been baking here in the sun for so long. It just kind of wants to melt away. I'm just going to set this aside for now and then um, I'm going to go ahead and walk around and check out the rest of the yard. See what other goodies we can find. And matter of fact, let's check out this Acura Legend that's right next to it. This thing's pretty sick. I've always wanted one of these and apparently they come in stick shift as well. I've seen a few come up on Facebook Market and uh, I'm always having to fight the urge to <laughs> roll up and pick it up. This is the car that Ludacris has. Of course, I think his is gold. Still got the motor inside of it. The windshield's all broken. It must have been in an accident or something. This one's automatic, but yeah. I'd say it's probably one of the luxurious Acuras, especially when they're done up. Kind of gets that VIP vibe. Honestly, this yard doesn't really have any good stuff, in my opinion. It's mostly an American junkyard. And this yard is pretty freaking, this yard is huge. It, it would take me all day just to go around every corner. They got a bunch of like trucks on that end, a lot of American brands on that end. And then right here, you've got the, uh, like all the Hondas and shit. They've got some old school cars too. Like over here in the corner, let's check this out. I wouldn't even be able to tell you what models these are, but yeah, I don't know. Y'all let me know. What does this look like? What about this, y'all? This tail light, does it look familiar? Ah, oh, shit. Don't know too much about classic cars, but yeah, it's always nice to find. <laughs> Check this thing out. Shout out Boosted Boys. Take a look at this wall of tires. I wonder if I could scale this. <laughs> it's just a mountain of unwanted tires. Check out this DIY paint job right here. What is this, an Altima? I don't know if I'm a fan of this color choice. It's just straight purple. Now this, this right here is a car that belongs in a junkyard. <laughs> Take a look at this Celica right here, y'all. Pretty underrated car. My dad actually had one of these. It was a faded blue and it was, uh, it was standard. That thing was loud as hell too. You could just hear him come home every time he got off of work. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this one was kind of ripped apart as well. Yeah, nothing useful inside. Look at this y'all, we got an old Celica and a SC400 right next to it. Let's check out this Lexus first. What the heck is up with this paint job? <laughs> Man, that is old school. I think a grandma owned this thing or something. Oh, check out the sticker. Yeah. Oh my God, look at the side of it. Must have got sideswiped so crazy. The inside is just demolished as well. It's nothing salvageable. All right, let's take a look at the Celica. These things are pretty badass too. Nice little rally cars. It's too bad they come uh, front wheel drive. I feel like these things will look sick when they're sliding. I guess you could take it out to the dirt roads and do some sliding that way. Guys, no freaking way that I just spot this. I think this is from the Datsun. This looks like it's part of that body kit. What the heck? What is it doing all the way down here? Look, it even has the cutouts for the exhausts. Yo, but look at this. It's, I think it's the same color, right? Yeah, this is from the, this is the same color. It's just a little faded from the sun. Yo, okay, real quick. I'm just gonna walk this over and see if it fits on that car. 
Oh my god, it's it's in one piece as well. This is crazy. I'm gonna put this camera down so I can carry it with both hands. What the heck? Yo, take a look at this. Yo, are you freaking serious right now? Did I really just find this on the floor like 10 cars over? I was just about to leave the yard and then I see this thing on the floor. It's like all the way down there. I guess someone decided they didn't want it and just set it on the floor. Bruh. This thing is in immaculate shape as well. Well, I mean, minus this. But holy crap, I can't believe I found a bumper for it. Yo, that thing looks crazy on there. Especially with the exhaust tips flaring out. Guys, what a find. I feel like this thing is actually worth so much money. I really want to take this home. I think for now, I'm just going to take that front air dam because I don't know. I don't even know how much he wants for that. I'm going to go ahead and ask up front and see. But man, I just wish the side skirts were in one piece. Yeah, I was kind of wondering, like, this car had to have a kit on it because um, that back bumper, it looks like it was um, uh, pushed into the back of it. They did the mod where you take off the, yeah, the bumper guards and you push it all the way in or you just cut it off completely. Yeah, it looked like it was shortened so that you could put this back bumper on right over it. And it just fits like a charm, man. And here I thought this car was worth nothing. Come to find this thing. That's insane. That's such a crazy find. I'm gonna take home that front air dam and then we're definitely coming back for this someday. Hopefully no one beats me to it. <laughs> Nothing but Altimas, man. You guys really are a different breed. <laughs> Y'all's car should be here, not on the road. Let's get up out of here. Check it out. They got a cool little truck here out for display. Nice little art piece for the yard. This yard just has rows and rows and rows. They like to stock up on the same type of model. So you've just got one row of like Mustangs, one row of like a certain truck, one row of like, yeah, just weird American cars, but uh, <laughs> cool spot. Oh man, they got a bike out here as well. Pretty cool finding motorcycles in yards. Looks like one of those classic cafe riders. All right, guys. I'm actually just gonna run over there and grab that bumper again. Old man just wants $20 for the front lip and for the rear bumper. So, dude, I'm going back to take that thing. 40 bucks total for the front air dam and the rear bumper. That's it's an insane deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that real quick. I already put the front lip in my car. We're just running back to grab that rear bumper now. He's telling me that car right there is on the list to get crushed, so. I might as well get what I can for now. Woo. All right, I'm coming back for this thing right here. Yeah, this is gonna be sick. All right, I'm gonna just take this off right here. Hopefully it doesn't break while I do this. Mission complete, y'all. Now let's actually get out of here. Such a sick find. Got it all loaded up in the workhorse. It's time to get home. Good old Civic. If y'all seen the previous video, y'all know I took some parts off of this one. Literally days later, someone already came back and took some of the front end. Looks like they got some goodies. And so really what I came here to get is, I need these things right here for my struts. You just need a regular old wrench and then and then just loosen it. Just literally twists off. Yeah. But yeah, if y'all haven't seen the video that I did on this one, go ahead and check it out. I'll link it down below. Let's go ahead and install this. All right. So just need this washer and this piece right here. Literally just twists on just like that. And then I'll get my wrench to tighten it. Let's get that other one now. Finally, we can install these bad boys. All right, there you go. I finally got some struts for my car. Now I can easily get my groceries in and out of the hatch without worrying about this falling on my head. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and bring out those bumpers. Oh, 
All right, y'all, so right here we got a junkyard front air dam and a rear bumper. I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, mock this up onto the car and see how it looks. I'm not sure if the rear bumper is gonna fit on there since I have these little, see this right here? I think you're supposed to cut it off. That way you can fit this custom one on there. There you go, that's pretty much how it's gonna look. Without me supporting it, this is pretty much how it looks on there. That's pretty cool. Let me see if I can, I'm kind of afraid of handling this cause it's all like just, I think it's fiberglass, so it's real brittle. Yeah, I think you would just mount it all along here, bolt it into the wheel well. That would look so crazy. I am searching for a rear end option, so I might just do this, I don't know. Mine doesn't have the dual exhaust though, so I might have to get that from the yard as well. So go ahead and comment down below if you know what type of rear bumper that is. Is it completely custom or is it from some type of company? But yeah, that's sick. And so if we take a look at the front, I've already got one on my car. We just go ahead and compare the two. As you can see, this one from the junkyard, this one's a little more squared off. It's got more angles on it, whereas mine is more round. Kind of comes in on a curve. I think I prefer my style as opposed to this one. Uh, this, one's, this one's just a little too square for me. Maybe I'll find a use for it. So I'm not gonna do anything with these bumpers for now. I'm just gonna throw them in the storage. Sometime in the future, I'll be making a video of res completely restoring these two. This right here, it's just, it's so floppy. Yeah, see right here, it's got a it's got a huge gash right here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drift stitch it and then fill it in with like, I don't know, plastic filler. And this one right here, it's, um, I think it's fiberglass. So I gotta fill in all these cracks. Just in general, patch it up and then respray both of them. I'll probably just spray them a neutral color. That way I can maybe sell it off to somebody. But you know what, for this rear bumper, I might just, I might just try to make my own mold with it. Maybe use this as a base make some type of mold out of it. That way I can, maybe I can produce more of these. That'd be sick. You know, I can't believe I found these at a, at a junkyard. And I'm surprised that nobody else found these. It's probably been sitting in there for years. I just happened to come along and pick them up. I'm definitely gonna be doing more junkyard runs uh, in hopes of finding gems like this. Let me know if y'all like those junkyard videos. If so, I'm gonna keep on doing them. And then maybe for one of my next videos, I'll, I'll do a full walk around with my car. Everything that's on it, et cetera, et cetera. My plans. Let me know if y'all like that. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and follow. Share it with your friends. I'm gonna start posting more content, uh, more consistently. So be on the lookout for that. I got a lot of parts coming in. I got a few sponsorship items I'll be doing. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Big game by James Worthy. Y'all was busting the play. Unstoppable like dirt. When he hits a fade away, the play away.